Hi, my name is Liz Callen and I'm presenting this video today. Um, it's a collaboration between SHIP and the Parent Academy. And today we're making a sausage kale pasta, which is a super easy and versatile recipe. It's amazing because we can incorporate tons and tons of greens into it, so it's very healthy. And greens are in season right now. So look at all these greens I have here. We can use kale. This is like a curly kale. Then we've got another option, different kind of kale. This one is a flat leafed kale. And we can also use collards. Collards are just as great as kale in this. And then other options would include mustard. So mustard is nice and fresh and zesty if you like that. And you could use chard, which is one of my favorites or spinach, or even broccoli, or broccoli rabe. So those are all great options for greens. And this recipe asks for um, half a pound of greens, but we're gonna see if we can push that to about a pound or a pound and a half, because I love to have lots and lots of greens in the recipe. So what else do we have? We've got, we're gonna be using sausage. The recipe is for zesty Italian sausage, but I like to do it with chicken sausage. So we've got a chicken sausage here. And then we are going to also experiment with some vegetarian sausage. So we'll do a mixture. We are going to be using rotini, which is a great pasta for this, but you could use any pasta. Um, this is a whole wheat rotini, so we'll be adding some fiber to, to our meal too to make it even more healthy. And then we need some olive oil. We'll use about a tablespoon plus a teaspoon or two of olive oil. And then we'll be using some broth. So we can use um, a box broth or a canned broth or a homemade broth. So um, any option. And then we'll just be garnishing it with some Parmesan cheese. So we'll use some Parmesan cheese and we'll need a little salt for the water, a little pepper flakes for some flavor, the garlic, of course. We've got six cloves of garlic here. Optional ideas for different ways that you can make this would be for your protein, you could use white beans. You could use cannellini beans or these great northern beans. Um, that would be amazing. And also oftentimes we make this here at home without any of the broth. We'll make, we'll make it at home with just the greens, the garlic, the sausage and the flavors and we won't bother with the broth. That's another way. Or you can add some of these fire roasted diced tomatoes, which are some of my favorite things to, to add. So you could use fire roasted tomatoes instead of the broth. So a great version would be the white beans, the tomatoes, and the greens. So this is a versatile recipe you can make lots of different ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab a bunch of this kale, and we're gonna just slice this into like thin ribbons. We're gonna use probably about three of these bunches of greens and just see how many we can fit in because you won't believe how much these greens shrink down when you cook them and they're what really makes it delicious okay so we've got this chopped up it doesn't have to be very small all right so there's one of our types of kale chopped up and we've got our Second type of kale to chop up here. The kale is full of vitamins and minerals and fiber. And there's so much kale that you can get right now at the, at the grocery store, at the market, or out of the garden. It's just a beautiful time of year to have kale. You can see that as we chop this kale, it's really already getting, getting to the point where it looks like it'll fit into a pan. Collards are nice and thick. I'm going to keep those nice stems on there and chop those finely. And chop the collards up as well. This, this is going to be a little bit over a pound of greens. Let's see if we can fit it in. Okay, so we've got that all roughly chopped. I love to put as many greens as I can into just about anything I'm making. Okay, so there's our collards as well. So meanwhile, we're gonna get our water 
started to boil. So we have a pot filled about halfway with water and we're gonna add a generous amount of salt to the water. So we'll salt the water for the pasta. Okay, and we'll just put that on to boil. So we've chopped our greens. Now what we're going to do is chop up our garlic. So we've got six big cloves of garlic. Of course, if you don't have garlic, you could use garlic salt. We're gonna go ahead and chop these six cloves of garlic up. All right, so once we've smashed the garlic with the knife and peeled it, just chop it up. It doesn't have to be super fine. The recipe is for three or four links of sausage. So let's use two of these small vegetarian patties. And then we're gonna use three of these chicken sausages. I'll use two of the vegetarian because they're kind of small. So we've got, this is gonna be our four sausages here. And I'm just gonna chop them up into bite-sized chunks. Okay, so we've got the sausage all chopped up, chicken and vegetarian. All right, so next up is the chicken broth. So we'll do two cups of chicken broth. You can use boxed or canned or completely omit the chicken broth and make this as a, a kind of a drier version, which is also really, really good. That's about it. We've got everything all prepared. That's how easy the prep is for this. Um, you could also, you could, um, if you're grating Parmesan cheese, you could get that done too. This is just for the garnish at the end. Otherwise we are good to go and ready to move over to the stove and start cooking. All right, so now we've got the pasta in the pan going we're, and we're going to go ahead and start with the sausage. So we, we put it on about medium high and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. So let's go for about two teaspoons. If you're using a, a sausage that is um, has more fat in it, like a regular Italian sausage, then you probably just need one teaspoon of olive oil. So we'll let that heat up for a sec. Okay, ready to brown the sausage. So we'll brown this sausage for uh, probably about five minutes till it looks nice and brown. This sausage is already pre-cooked, but you, if you're using um, raw sausage, then you'll make sure it's really nice and brown and cooked. And since we don't have a, an Italian sausage here, we're gonna use a little bit of fennel. And this, this will help bring out that Italian flavor that we're looking for in this recipe. So we'll just add some fennel seeds to this chicken sausage, which is gonna make it taste more Italian. All right, this is browning nicely and the pasta is almost done. Let's check and see if it's al dente yet. will reserve half a cup of pasta water just in case we need it later. So I took that out and now I'm going to go ahead and drain the pasta. I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil and then this we're going to use to fry up the veggies. So first in we'll add the garlic and we'll add a sprinkle of hot pepper. This is about a quarter teaspoon depending on how hot and spicy you like it. All right, we give that one quick stir, because we don't want to overcook the garlic. And we'll add the kale. So this is about a half a pound of kale right here. But we're gonna add, we're gonna let these wilt down a little bit, and then we're gonna add even more. This is the collard. That going in too. Let that cook down a bit. Just let it cook down a little bit so it makes some space in the pan. Now we've got a pound in here of greens. I still think we can get a little bit more 
So I'm going to go ahead and add the next batch as well. I don't know, you think we can fit it? Maybe we'll put half. Let's put half of this kale in there. Now we have over a pound of kale in here. Okay, so we're just going to saute this for about two or three minutes until it gets wilted. This recipe is so simple and so full of greens and wonderful flavor from the sausage and garlic. There we go. Okay, see how it's really wilting now. So it's really wilted down. I think that now, let's see. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and add the rest of that kale. There's not much left there. There it is. Okay. Once this kale is all wilted for after about two or three minutes of sauteing, we are going to add our chicken broth. Okay, looks good. Kale is wilted. It's been about three minutes. I'm going to add our chicken broth now. So here's our two cups of chicken broth. We're going to put those right in. Turn it back up a little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to let this stew with the chicken broth for about another two or three minutes. Basically, we're really about done with this super easy recipe. Now, if you didn't want to add the chicken broth, you could just toss it with the pasta right, right then. And you'd have another, a different kind of, a, you'd have a different version of this dish. Or instead of chicken broth, this is when you would add your diced tomatoes. We can, we can cover it if we want to, we don't have to, but we'll go ahead and cover this. We'll let it go for about two minutes. Okay, wow, it's really cooking. It looks so great. It's stewing in there with the juices of the broth. It's cooking down a little bit. It's cooked about two minutes. Let's give it another minute. Hey, there we go. That looks really nice and cooked. Still has a bright green color though. All those healthy greens. All right, now what we do is we add the pasta. So one key to this meal is choosing a, a pan that's actually big enough to fit all of your pasta and all your greens at the very end because it all goes together so, it, so the pasta can soak up some of the delicious juices. All right, we've got this in here and we're gonna mix it together. And then you can use some of that reserved pasta water if you think it needs a little bit more of the juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the reserved pasta water. That was about an extra half cup. Stir it all together, toss it together, and then we're going to let it simmer for just a little bit more so the pasta can soak up all that flavor. And then we're done. That's it. So super easy. This dish is amazing leftover too. It soaks up even more of the flavor. You can see that the greens have completely cooked down now, but we can still see them. Let's put the cover on. If you don't have a cover for your pan, that's okay too, but 
we'll let the cover just kind of help it soak up the flavors. Yeah, we'll put it on kind of like medium low for maybe another minute or two. It's been about two minutes. Let's give it a stir. See how it's doing. Oh wow, it looks great. I think it's done. Look at all those greens in there, but they really disappeared. That was almost a pound and a half of greens and it's going to be perfect. Okay, so we've got our, our steaming hot pasta dish. This is enough. For, I think we made enough with our one box of pasta and our three bunches of greens for about five or six people. Hopefully we have leftovers. So what we'll do is we'll just serve it and then you can garnish it with some Parmesan cheese. Some more pepper flakes if you want. So we've got some Parmesan cheese here. I'll sprinkle a little of that on. Put a little bit on. And that's it. So this is the amazingly versatile pasta sausage and kale dish. And um, of course you could have you could make it with um, cannellini beans if you didn't want to use the meat. You could make it with um, tomato sauce if you didn't want to use the broth. And it's also great just with the sausage and the kale and the garlic. So enjoy!